Hi everyone, my name is Philip and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install your own Ravencoin solo proxy with the Ravencoin Core full node on Windows. Let's go check it out. First step is to go to the ravencoin.org website forward slash wallet we can click on wallets. From here click on the Windows download link. Now Windows will resist from letting you do this so you'll uh, get a warning like this if you're using Edge and you have to click on the three dots and tell it that you want to keep the download and then Windows 10 smart screen will kick in and you'll have to go show more and say keep anyway. From here I would go to your downloads folder and then double click on Ravencoin to install it. We'll probably get a few more warnings. Uh, so once again smart screen is trying to block us so we'll go more info, run anyway and we'll step through all the prompts. Okay, so that's our base uh, Ravencoin core install done. Now we've got to configure it. Okay, you can probably just use the default data directory. If you've got a separate disk, like an SSD on D drive or something, you can change that. We'll just say OK and accept the defaults. Now it's completing the setup process. Uh, we'll tell it to uh, create a new wallet. I'm not going to actually use the wallet on this one, so we'll let it generate the seed phrase, but I'm not going to bother recording it. It'll just be a throwaway. Okay, so now it's finishing setting up the wallet. Uh, I'm going to tell Windows Firewall to allow this on all networks. And now it's going to commence downloading the full blockchain. Now this could take a day, two days, so you'll have to be patient until this uh, process has completed. Through the magic of editing, it's magically downloaded everything. Uh, we'll just do a quick check. If we go into File Explorer, and up here we type percent app data, and go into the Raven folder. The blocks um, folder should be around sort of 29 gigabytes or maybe a bit bigger by the time you're looking at it. So that's a good sign that everything's downloaded. Uh, the other thing we can check is we go help uh, debug window and we should see uh, the current number of blocks being like uh, a nice big number like this. The next step is to download and install the Raven Stratum proxy. So that's, uh, I'll put a link below so you don't have to copy that off the screen. And uh, this has Windows installation instructions. So if you uh, just keep scrolling down here, uh, it says for Windows, uh, download this repo. So we'll start that downloading. Once that's downloaded, we'll extract out that zip file. We'll just go right click extract all. And then inside of this, we'll go into the Windows directory. And we'll double click on the generate.bat file. Uh, we'll tell Windows run it anyway and it will now start downloading and installing the requirements. It's now downloaded most of the packages so we'll start answering the prompts so we're going to just return to default for mainnet. Um, the IP of our node will be this computer so you can just return for local host. Uh, the default port is correct so we just return again and the RPC username we're going to use is RPC underscore admin. I'm going to use uh, just a password, but you please make up something uh, different. So uh, uh, something, use a random password to reduce the risk of being hacked. Now, assuming you've got a mining rig that's not running on the same computer, we're going to have to say yes to allow miners externally from this computer to connect. You can use any port you want for this. Uh, in the examples they give on the website, they use 54325, so we'll copy those. And now it generates a batch file to uh, run the proxy. And if we come back up one directory, um, that's the batch file created for running it. After you double click on run.bat, you can get a Windows file warning come up. Just tick both boxes to say allow access. Once we've got that done, we need to head back over to Raven Core Core Wallet. And we need to go into Wallet Options. And then we need to open the configuration file. Okay, so the options, I'll put this in the description below, but the options we need are server equals one to, to enable the RPC server, uh, add our username, which is RPC underscore admin. Uh, please don't use password, use whatever random password you generated before. And then we only allow connections from this computer itself. And then you can close it. Uh, oh, the other one you wanna do is tick on the main screen, tick start Raven on system login. Um, and then you can say OK. Then you'll need to uh, stop and start the Raven Core Wallet again. Now, when it starts, it'll take quite a while, so um, 
uh, don't be surprised, nothing's wrong, it just takes a while to verify everything. Actually, just while we're in the configuration file, it's also required uh, to net a port through to the box. Now, if you've got a UPnP router, you can just say UPnP equals one. If you're not sure, I'd probably just add it in anyway, and then save that off and stop and start the Ravencoin um, core system again. Okay, once the Ravencoin core is back online and it says it's all synced the wallets, you can come back here and just double click on the run.bat to start the um, proxy. So it'll initially say it's connecting. Um, now I've already, already pointed a, uh, a miner at it and uh, it's just starting to talk to it now. If we go back to the GitHub for the Stratum proxy, if you uh, page down, they give you several example command lines for using uh, common miners. Um, you can also uh, just simply put in your, um, if you're using Hive OS or minus stat, you can just load in the IP address of your proxy computer with the uh, port you chose. So in this case, in this example, we used 54325 and it will just connect and start mining. Uh, this is just a test rig of mine for a very old NVIDIA GTX 1650. So you can see it's now uh, checking correctly. It's reporting it's mining at 7.6 mega hash a second. We can see the network cache rate and uh, the expected time to be able to um, crack a block. If you're not sure how to find the IP address of your machine, if you click on the start button and then just type in CMD and hit return and then type in IP config. Um, you're looking for um, the IPv4 address and it'll probably say 10 dot something or 192.168 something. And so that's the address you want to connect your miner to. If your router doesn't support UPnP, then you'll need to Google that model and you'll need to figure out how to forward, um, configure a NAT and port forward TCP 8767 through to your node so that uh, other Ubuntu, sorry, so that other Ravencoin full nodes can send updates to your node. I hope that uh, crash course in how to install a Ravencoin core full node and your own private uh, solo mining pool on Windows was useful. I'm going to leave some other videos around my head that you might find interesting. Thanks for watching.